Well, hello everyone and welcome to Stellar Settlers. Now, I've received this key I know nothing about. I haven't even clicked in, so we're going to discover it together. As you can see, it's early access. It is out. The link to the game is down in the description. So we're going to go new game and it looks like we got to collect some artifacts on first planet. So we unlock the next lot of planets when we level up. And obviously it's early access. I believe there's like sandbox modes and stuff coming out as it says here. So we're going to dive straight into the first one. Available settlers. A settler can give you different bonuses to help you in your venture in unknown planets. Select for me, I guess. Good planner and leader. Decrease pod resource generation time by 5%. Tunnels are free of cost. Increase whatever that is generation. Okay. All right, we're going straight in then. So I pause. What does that do? No. All right. Welcome to your first settlement in Stellar Settlers. Your goal is build a well connected to space station. Harvest valuable resources, build a spaceship with parts you research to escape the planet. Be aware every planet has its own environmental challenges. Now press OK and start your game. Use a pod and place it on the ground. OK. We've got minor factories. It looks like you can snap to any of these zones. It kind of wants it here. R to rotate. Cool. I think we'll just go like that then. Connect pods with tunnels. We've got a long tunnel. Oh, nice. Feels good, feels good. I can zoom all the way in, move around. You need to rotate. Nice, create miner and hauler units to mine a planet. Okay, so we're gonna go in. Go assign someone to it. This pod requires a settler assigned to function. Doubles production for assigned pod, doubles production for assigned pod. Top and bottom level pods of assigned pod has 50% production. Let's give it Harper, that'll do. And then we create miners for conductive material plus, plus 7.5 per minute. Well, we may as well slam in a few of those then. I know what they do. Okay, they drive out and grab the relevant resources for that. So actually you want certain ones in. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at what we have then. Storage. Gain plus 150 of storage capacity when connected. We don't need that one. Okay, progress in mission to unlock. Build storage entrance. Guess we'll build a storage there. Rotate the structures with key RF. Yeah, RF. Build storage entrance. We've done that. Oh, we got to connect it, right? These will need some kind of tunnel. Boom. There we go. We're all connected in. Perfect. Made a right meal of that. Sorry. And then connect building pods. So we need three different building pods. Self-sufficiency pods unlocked. Game resource passively. Ah, oh, cool. Gain plus one water every 12 seconds. Terra minor pod is one of the triangles every so often and gain one power. We're okay on power at the moment, so greenhouse. Okay. I think the pods can go up top too. And that one is kind of, I'm feeling it over here. Vertically paced pods also need to be connected. Got you. So we're going to need some kind of vertical tunnel like that. Ah, okay. So building up is pretty cool. Okay, okay. That's fine. What's all this over here? Demolish mode, control. Let's have a look. Research panel. Okay, what's this then? Oh, loads of research. All right, so we'll kind of just do what the mission says as we go through. What's all this? Settlers, events, upcoming event meteor. A meteor will hit the planet. A meteor hit the planet. Haul materials and repair the damage. Then through here, you get the sort, sort of stuff. That's fine. So all we need is the pods building up then. What's a terra miner pod then? I guess we can just stack them up. I think I'll keep my storage on top of those ones for now. Silicon factory, what can I do with this? I'm tempted to build this one out actually and connect it in. So it looks like we do actually have to have some kind of gap. We'll do that for now. Quarters and lounge unlocked, gain whatever that is. Inhabitancy, new settlers arrive. Okay, and the green heart. Have a look. Thick bay. Oh, there's more. Wow. Use research to unlock new structures. Okay, there's the quarters then. That's the actual settlers and there's the lounge. Settlers will have missions for you. Completing each task will increase settlers' health or art, whatever that is. Let's get a power thing in as well. I'm kind of just going to mash them all together and start building a base then. Let's get a quarters in. I'm going to actually put this separate. So I'm thinking there with a tunnel. And they're going to have a lounge up above. Oh, okay. So you might need to make sure you're being careful with your tunnels. As you're so they're all connected. It looks like each one, they'd kind of go down as you use them, but you only gain, they only increase as stuff's going in. So new settler arrives at plus 0.333 per minute. That's one settler every minute then. All right, we just need one more building in here to finish this little mission. So we want the research station, right? That's 57 of the red triangle things, which 
called building material, which is a terra minor pod. I think it's kind of its own thing, right? I have an idea. So what we're going to do is actually demolish that out and grab in the freeway tunnel. Oh, that doesn't work. I had a dream. We connected at the top. There we go. And then we just go back into the normal. And that's all connected in. Beautiful. I could probably get some on top of that as well. Razor can help organize connections. Ah, fine. Kind of like a puzzly thing then, to make sure you can put them all together properly. So we got our reward. Build greenhouses. We've done one already. Is that our other greenhouse over there then? Just looking at where we can kind of connect them up. So that's the entrance there. It kind of makes sense to go over here. We'll have a greenhouse stack here. We'll connect them like that. Get a tunnel in. Uh, they're having to gather up our resources because we dropped them all as well. So we don't need to worry about those greenhouses. It kind of worked. I kind of want these terraformer pods then. We're just going to connect these out, I guess. How much does it cost? I think the tunnels... Yeah, tunnels are completely free, so we don't need to worry about those. All right, new storage put in. I think I'll just put them in like a weird little shape. I'll have another one here just to kind of bring them across. I don't think they can be stacked, the storage pods, so... Settler will get sick in 1 minute 12 here. We've only got one settler, so unfortunately, he's no good. Research launch pad to unlock. I think the launch pad is the one that is how you get off the island as well. So we want to work towards this then. So we need conductive material and energy material. So I think I want the solar panels in. Pretty cheap. And we should put these on top of the other buildings like we're doing. So these ones here maybe. That's it. And then I should be able to connect both of these up with these vertical tunnels. That should then increase our power output as well. So these guys, what we want to do is probably grab more trucks so they can get stuff for us. What have we got lying about? Conductive material. Can I tell them to go and grab the conductive materials, I guess? I'm going to grab four of each then, so we've got a full... You can change miner bot resource by priority by clicking on. Ah, interesting. Caller bot. I want you to prioritize conductive material. Thick bay costs a fortune. Well, the power should be good. We just need to get to conductive materials, so hopefully they'll be grabbing it anyway. They are. The miner is poorly doing that, so we need a hauler. Get him focusing on conductive material. Although, I guess that doesn't matter. That's their prioritization. Yeah, we want to get a bunch of that in. Cool. Perfect sense. Oh, it's making the world a di uh, difference on the conductive material here. About on top of one of these. A little conductive material stack just over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the storage stuff in. There is, although, storage pod makes a lot more sense, actually, doesn't it? We just connect a storage stack over here. That needs to kind of go on top of the... Fortunately, I... Yeah, let's get rid of that. We'll put the storage pods on top. We only need one more as well, so... Uh, yeah, they're much more efficient, actually. Let's get you up on top as well. Let's rotate that so you can actually fit. Vertical top. There we go. New settler arrived. Choose the settler to join your colony. Increase bot movement speed by 15%. Decrease spending by 10%. Right, I quite like the depth, and it's really, really chill. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, settler morale. We need to get that up. Odd resource generation time. Okay, we're going to go with bot movement speed. Am I supposed to be assigning people? Unassigned settlers. Oh, okay. We need to assign people. Right, it's double production. What does this do? Assign. Doubles production. Cool. Let's get that in as well. I mean, we already have one, but let's get another one anyway, just to satisfy the uh, the mission there, because that's given us points anyway. Base lets us have a look from the top as well. What's that pod over there? All right, let's see if we can get this sick bay in now. This is got, I think I'm going to have this as its own pod. I could have this all the way up here, actually. That could be kind of cool. Although I want to just keep stacking storage there, don't I? Let's do that. Let's pop him on here then. There's sick bay. Hopefully our settler will f uh, go to that one, and then we need to work on whatever the morale thing is. So we're going to need the research station, right? So we need more water and more power, so we'll go with the greenhouse. We might just do a full stack of these. There we go, and then I should be able to connect them with the tunnel, so I've got them moved. Then we'll connect these guys over here, so that's another two greenhouses. So that should increase our water at least anyway, so 22.5 per minute. Cool. What's this here? A meteor will hit the planet. Hopefully it doesn't hit my base. <laughs> oh, a meteorite hit over here. Look, it drops those resources when it hits too. Very cool. Yeah, so very, very simple, but quite chill game actually, if you want to just unlock and go. It'd be interesting to see what they do with the game, right? 
I'm going to play it through until rocket launch anyway, so you can kind of see what that's all about. Hopefully we can get rid of these negative events here. We just need a quarter pods to do that reward. This plus 5% on that is actually really good. So let's get a new quarters up on here. These guys will kind of go with lounge and pods connected. Uh, assign all settlers to pods. Right? Fine. I think we're good, right? Ooh, settler mission. Use additional razors. Done yours. Build new silicon factory. Oh, we need two. I might build another silicon factory then. Let's do that. Just to satisfy him right there. I'm going to keep the thingies over that way. Guess we could kind of put it there, couldn't we? Let's get a tunnel on it. That's him done. Uh, what's yours? Spend resources. I mean, that's nearly done anyway. You're pretty happy as well. Spend 300 power. Okay. There's they're all assigned. Oh, because Harper's sick, right? Can I assign you to the medical bay then? Treat six settlers assigned to it in 10 minutes. Gotcha. Got you, got you. Okay. Just thinking you kind of want to start your stacks with the Terra Minor pod then, because that seems to be the case for most things. It wants to attach, right? Fine, let's bring you over here. You can always do upward tunnel and a downward tunnel, can we? No, that won't work. It'll work if we do that and put something on top. Perfect. So we've got the miner there. What are we low on then? Let's get the... Most things are pretty good, actually. It build a research station. We'll definitely get that done. Let's get the water in. No, we're doing that over there. Then the vertical tunnel on there. Perfect. We've got another miner. So it just wants us to build the research station then. We gain one by using minus 10 of selected material every four minutes. Okay. So we can pop this on top of some... Thinking on top of the... Thick bay. Oh, is there another connector? There is. So there is perfect. And then we're going to have to click on it. Fuming. And we're going to swap a material for it. What's our best income here? 31 so far. So I think it's going to be swap power for research. Being one, one plus research. And we should be able to go to the research panel. Tail, razor, blueprint. Learn more about the dynamics of building. Build, build tool, razor structure. Tunnel hub looking at what is the space shuttle okay space shuttle blueprint costs 12 research okay cool 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 and there's our sandstorm so that's going to reduce our production here build new pods at sixth floor or higher reward 150 of those we're kind of just going to ramp up our research here that's going to be what we do so new pods i guess we're not really too fussed by that that production will be down but that's okay what we're going to be doing is just banging in a couple of these research stations. This one, we need to make sure we're expending certain amounts. So I think we'll stick to maybe conductive because we have so much of it. Oh, look at this. I've just found some weird a flight recorder. This is an Elix brand flight recorder from a spacecraft that has been on this planet before. Here is a recording from the navigator. I'm going to click learn because that's another research point. I wonder if there's more around the map. Oh, look at this. A spaceship crash site. I was wondering what they were. I may as well grab those for the research points then. Don't need resources right now, so we're fine. But the only two that were floating about. Guess if I hold space, I might be able to see. Oh, an alien structure. There we go. Learn from you. Zoom out and see if there's anything else. I think they're the only three at the moment. Cool. Sandstorm should be gone. Yeah, two minutes. I'm going to grab another minor factory too. Because, actually, they seem to be the way to go. We don't have enough settlers for it, though. We might need to... I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let me figure this out. Oh, new settler. Perfect. <laughs> Good timing. If we go decrease electric spending to this. Perfect. And that miner there, we can assign someone eventually. I think we need to assign Harper when he's covered. Let's get you out of there. Let's get you over here. And then we'll create some of these guys. Hopefully go and grab some resources for us. We've got plenty of those anyway. And I'll kind of set them to hauling that. Where's my other miners? Let's get you on building material. Everyone else is good. We'll kind of ramp those up. We're almost there on research pods. We're on nine already. So we're going to grab another one. Kind of stacking them up pretty high, but that's okay. I wish the tunnels costed something. They're all free. I feel like they should cost building materials or something. Make you have to like utilize them a little bit more. Base is coming along pretty cool. There it is. 
Oh, okay, I'm just hovering over. Spaceship pops. Research launch pad to unlock. So I'm kind of like cheesing towards the end. I think. I don't know. A settler has fallen ill. Are you, are you done yet? Not quite. Oh, you can rotate, rotate the buildings when they're in. All right, let's assign Olivia to the sick bay then. And then I think we can assign... I don't even know where they were, actually. Kind of hard to keep on top of everyone when you're not good. Let's get Harper in there. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's already assigned, so he's in his jobs. That's cool, then. I think they rotated and swapped. We've got so many resources here. We've actually got the 12, too. So we're going to go into our research now. I'm going to go all the way down. Our launch pad is 30. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Let's get some more research pods, then. All right, they're all connected, and they're very high. Research and place a trade satellite. Pretty sure that's something we'd have to research anyway. Read satellite. Oh, okay. Observatory blueprint. Focus on gaining research faster. Let's give that one a go. Observatory. Costs 133 water. Gain plus one every two minutes. So it's better than the research station. The only problem is it costs water, right? So you need some kind of green. Go. We can obviously stack up a few more of those. No problem. We actually can't because there's no holes left. Go. It won't take long to get one of those bad boys in. Alright, I've got enough for this observatory. I feel like it should go at the top. That that just looks... That'll look really, really cool. Really high up. There it is. That's obviously going to gain us a fair bit anyway. We're going to need to find some top and bottom level pods assigned to have better production. Plus 5% production. Okay, it shaves a little bit of time off, I guess. There's certain things that can't be placed on fourth floor. So if I'm going to put that up there, it looks like it can only go up to a certain point as well. The greenhouse can only go up four floors, it looks like. Just looking through some of these research, there is a lot, right? Yeah, so they're like better versions of these. And I'm not struggling with resources anyway, so it's kind of not too much of a problem. Uh, defense system blueprint. Learn to evade negative events like... Okay, I'm guessing eventually, then, you will have to stop them trashing your base with that stuff. We're already on 80 research anyway, and it's only 32 for the shuttle anyway. Alright, I'm pretty sure our storage is now full as well, because we've just got so much crazy stuff going on, so it won't hurt to just knock in a few storage pods here, it looks like. There we go. All of them seem to have stopped. Is it because we're not mining anything What's going on here? Oh, is no one working on them? No, we should be fine. Oh, we still don't have enough storage. That's what it is. They're gonna we're gonna keep whacking this up then, I guess. <laughs> okay, I guess we make more than we need to. That's fine, you guys carry on. We're on twenty-five research anyway. I think I'll keep stacking up the storage. Just pop in a new storage entrance over here as well. Alright, launch pad has been done. So we've got to do a launch pad thruster. If we gotta unlock each one then, let me see. launch pad. Can't afford to build. How much does that cost? Three hundred water. Problem. All right, just do another full stack of greenhouses here. That takes up to 52.5 per minute, and we got another one over here as well. So we got a three stack there. Could get a fourth on there as well, but we're fine. They're moving again now. We've used up some of the resources. We <laughs> we we stacked it up, everything way too much. It's actually looking huge, the base right here. And there it goes. They're all hauling it in from over here as well. Uh, wow, we got miners going crazy on it. How about you change the life support there? And then it looks like we're almost there, so... Oh, we need 300 of the building material as well. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We've got haulers grabbing that as well. Miners working on it. Shouldn't take long as they do their thing. Quite cute. Reminds me of, a, I don't know if you saw it, I did that video called The Crust on the channel as well. That's a relatively new one. We've actually got other stuff that we can grab in here too. I'll let the kind of go up anyway. But yeah, The Crust, it reminds me of what on that game. That game's going to be cool too. No idea when it's coming out, but... Right, Spaceship Design Handbook, page one. Your goal is to design a spaceship which will escape the gravity of the planet by reaching a certain height. If you fail and the spaceship touches ground, it blows up and disappears. If spaceships fall on space base, create an explosion that might demolish some of your base. God, when a module malfunctions, okay, when modules explode, it will destroy and it connected two different parts. Successful liftoff gives 200 XP. Is the game. Every thruster requires a fuel tank. For example, if you have four thrusters, your spaceships need four fuel tanks. Oh, I wasn't expecting this then. So, launch command. Track and complete the checklist to launch your spaceship. Four thrusters. I have no idea how this works, so I'm kind of just building my own spaceship then. So if we go main structure then. Will it attach to these? We'll pop those on first. Do they attach to it? I don't know how the, the thrusters work. Oh yeah, they do. Look at that. So you need to put that on first. I'm actually... 
That's interesting. So the thrusters have got to actually attach to it. I want to make it look cool. So you can make some cool looking rockets. Cool. So we'll get our four around this. There we go. Safety section. Oh, and you need units to grab it. Okay, life support modules, habitat modules. Okay, gotcha. Habitat modules. Nose cone, that'll be the top. Fuel tank, life support modules as well. All right, I've kind of come up with this thing here. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea if this is it. I've clicked on here. It seems to be the case. It weighs a lot. I've put some extra thrusters on. Uh, part malfunction chance per four seconds is 22%. Part explosion chance per five seconds is 25%. Uh, increased balance, I'm not even sure. It gives you 100 additional XP if you put in a science lab. Okay. Creates a structure to support the spaceship. Thermal regulator. Decreased chance of explosion. Oh, gotcha. We want to kind of reduce that before we take the risk. I don't even know if this is going to work properly. Put two thermal regulators there. That looks kind of cool. That takes it down to 19%. And then part malfunction chance. There's got to be one that stops that. I reckon there's going to be some research to do with this. Let's have a look. It doesn't look like it. What we can do is look at these, though. Nanomaterial processing thing. So we can get our thingies up. Gain plus one every two seconds. Holy crap, what is this thing? Alright, okay. Didn't even know we could get some crazy stuff in like this. So we can attach it there. Of course I put that the wrong way around. No, that's fine. We can get that attached in with some pipes. They're free anyway, right? Go. Boom. Oh my god, that gives us loads. That thing just starts pumping out material. So let's look at the other ones then. So we want to increase these. So we did that one. Supercharge this. Try that one. Plasma. Needs the building materials which we'll have. How much is it to launch? I kind of don't want to launch it without fixing this though. Alright, we're in the final countdown until we've got everything for this. So we've only got 13% chance of part exploding. We've got 22% chance of part malfunction every 4 seconds. I don't know, we've matched everything here. I've kind of made it as light as we can do. Um, as best as we've got. So we've matched everything here. We'll see when we launch. Right, here we go. Come on. I'm left. Okay, so you've got to get into altitude. I get it. Oh god, something's gone. Working. Come on. Don't fail on me. See you in the stars. Okay, I think we made it. Congratulations, your launch was successful. You've gained experience. New planets, settlers, and modes are available to play. There it is, guys. So, that has been Stellar Settlers, guys. A nice little chill game. Just relaxing, you know. Um, it's one that I might play a little bit peacefully. Go check it out. Link's down in the description. As always, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.